Now most videos with a similar title to this one will probably be about the technical aspects of photography, so which aperture you should use, how to maybe get better compositions, or possibly even how to get even sharper photos. And yes, for sure, all those tips are great and will probably help you get better photos, but photography is not all about the technicalities. Photography is about so much more than that, and in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I think has allowed me to drastically improve my photography over the past few years. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you haven't been here before, welcome to the channel and another video. So yes, we can always improve on the technical aspects of our photography, which will obviously allow us to get better photos in a lot of different scenarios. Better compositions being one of those things, how you frame a scene, what you include in the scene and what you leave out of a scene. Understanding your settings better obviously helps so you know which settings to use for a particular subject or scene so you can get the best results at that time for that particular photo. But, and it's quite a substantial but I think, there is one huge thing missing from all of that stuff that I've just talked about and that is creativity. So much of photography is about creativity and being creative with how you take your photos. Another photographer here on YouTube called Mike, or North Borders as he's known on YouTube, actually put a poll up, I believe it was a few weeks ago, and the poll was, what makes a good photographer? Is it something along those lines? What makes you a good photographer? Is it more the skill or more the creativity? And after seeing that poll, me and Christina literally kind of went back and forth on this for about an hour and honestly we didn't really settle on an answer. It's a tough one. Um, I would love to hear your opinions on this one below so if you have one or you figure out what your answer is let me know in the comments below. Um, but nevertheless creativity is a huge part if not maybe the biggest part of photography and you can't really just sit down and learn it. Now when I'm talking about creativity, I don't really mean like creative photo ideas that you might see on TikTok using flares or spinning wire around in a circle to make um, sparks and stuff. It's fun to try if, if you want to give it a go. I mean more having an eye for photography as you'll hear people say, being able to spot compositions or just as you're walking somewhere, just at a glance being able to almost picture a photo in your head. In those particular moments you aren't really thinking about camera settings at all because that all comes after. In those moments you're just wandering around taking in your surroundings and picking things out that appeal to you and the cool thing about it is everyone's going to be different, everyone's going to spot different things and see different compositions which is what makes photography so interesting. And this is where I think travel makes a huge difference to your photography visiting new places, going on trips with your camera, and just taking photos of things or scenes that appeal to you. It's very different than being at home in your own country where everything just feels so normal to you. When you're traveling, especially if it's in a country much different than your own, for example us traveling to Italy recently, or Spain, or even Portugal, everything looks different from the buildings to the signs and landscapes, so it's fun to photograph and I find myself drawn to quite simple things or scenes a lot of the time just because it's new to me. Which is why if you look through the comments of some of our videos you'll see people from those countries saying oh I, I love the photos, it's cool to see my own country through a foreign person's perspective because to them everything is just normal. And it's the same when I see photographers that I follow coming here to visit Ireland, I'm very interested to see what photos they will get and what will appeal to them because they just see it in a different way than I do. But the point I'm trying to make is when I return from these trips, I see my own country differently. Like for example, when we come back from our trip to Portugal and Spain, the fields at home just seemed so green and I remember it standing out to me when we were coming back from the airport. The landscapes in Portugal and Spain are just so different from the landscapes here in Ireland and I think sometimes it really takes you to leave a place for a while to allow you to appreciate it more when you come back. Like for example, the photos I capture while I'm on trips, the things that appeal to me, 
To many of the people who live in those countries, it's just another old building or just another old car. But when they see the photos, they tend to really like them because in day to day life, they don't really appreciate the beauty of their own culture as much. But there's something different about seeing a photo of a landscape in your own country or something to do with the culture that I think makes you appreciate it more. And I totally get it, but like I said, whenever I go home, I see things differently and I'm able to appreciate my own country and the culture and see the little things that didn't stand out to me as much before I left, which obviously means then that I'm able to photograph them because things are standing out to me that weren't standing out to me as much before, um, if that makes sense. Another thing that I think travel can do when it comes to photography is just helps refresh your mind a little bit. Um, I know when I visit a new place, everything's new to me, like I said. I just want to grab the camera, go for a walk, see what appeals to me and take some photos. I'm not having to go to an area and scout to see if there's photos or really plan my days too much, um, which I find a little bit draining when it comes to photography. I, I much prefer to go somewhere new and just walk and see what appeals to me and take the photos of things that I like. I just find travel photography more casual and relaxing because I'm just going out and doing photography rather than planning where I'm going to do my photography and what I'm going to photograph, which is what I often find myself doing when I'm at home. And the last thing that I think travel may do or help with for your photography is allow you to be open to different styles of photography, which I think is always a good thing. For example, you may be primarily a landscape photographer and take photos of landscapes in your own country. But let's say, for example, you visit a new country and you maybe take a little drive and end up in a city. You're probably going to have your camera with you. And just because you're in a city doesn't mean you can't get photos. And you might end up taking some photos in the city and actually liking them, which will then open you up to possibly doing that again in future on a different trip or possibly taking photos in towns or cities in your own country. And I think just doing those different types of photography just helps you become a better photographer overall, which can only be a good thing really. And I think that's really all I wanted to touch on in this video. It's been a topic that I wanted to talk about for a while on the channel, but I just never really got around to it. I would love to hear your thoughts on it though. Do you travel with your camera? And do you find that it makes you a better photographer? Share your thoughts below and also share your thoughts on that North Borders poll because yeah, that is an interesting one. What makes a good photographer? Skill or creativity? You often need the skills to take a good photo of a nice scene, but without the creativity, would you have spotted a nice scene that could potentially make a photo? Yeah, that's a tough one. I think the results of that poll lean more towards creativity, if I remember right. Interesting. But anyway, that was quite a bit of blabbering, but a topic I found quite interesting. Um, hopefully you guys did too. If you enjoyed this one, maybe give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing below. Um, don't think there's really much else I wanted to say, other than the presets will be coming possibly next week or the week after. And I might have a fun little video too, so keep an eye out in the community tab for that might edit some of your photos um we shall see but anyway that's pretty much it for this one so as we always say take it easy don't be a stranger skill or creativity <laughs>